Well, welcome in, everyone, to a new episode here on Oil Tycoon The Exodus. We've got a lot of things planned for this episode. This is our big sell-it-all episode. We've got all of this petroleum that we're loading up now to sell off. I think there were 600 and some thousand liters of petroleum we've got to sell. Along with, we have our LP, our motor oil, our diesel, those stone statues we've been making, the prefab walls, and also the bread that we just started making in the last episode. But stay tuned till the end to find out what new thing we have in store for the end of this season. So won't you join us? In a time not so long ago, one man rose from having little to becoming, the man, owner of a vast oil empire just outside Frontier City. Once he had control of all the city's oil, he sealed the city's gates and shut the city down. During that time, war broke out between the citizens of the city and the corrupt city government trying to control its people. Many didn't survive the war and those who did were growing hungry and desperate. When word came that the man who once doomed the city to destruction now offered a way of escape, people fled to a place that could bring them peace once more, a secret tunnel that would lead them to a tent city outside the walls. This is Oil Tycoon, The Exodus. Well, after harvesting our first field out here in the desert, we are really having a hard time producing any real crops. Nothing really grows in the sand, even adding the dirt to it did not help too much. So I have an idea of how we can get ourselves back inside that wall and use the fertile ground that's inside. Of course, the city's, you know, it's fallen apart. After all the corruption that's gone on in there, all the wars and fighting, I mean, a lot of, a lot of the trees have been destroyed, businesses gone, but there is an idea to get back in. And now that we've been producing all that gold and silver out of the, that we've been digging out of the ground, we're starting to run a little low on those rocks. So we're going to take some of that that we've produced and see if we can negotiate with the city to get inside the wall. So but let me go around finishing all this petroleum, collecting all of it. I think I have one more set over there to pull from, and then I'll have it all. So I'll see you when we get over to the pipeline. All right, we were able to get 604,000 liters of petroleum out of all those pump jacks. So we're gonna take this over to the pipeline, but I just wanted to take a moment to thank everyone who has who supported this, this series here, the Oil Tycoon series, who's actually because of comments and all the likes we got from the first season that we did bring it back for another one. So I truly appreciate all the comments that you guys have put out, all the likes. So if if you've liked this series, be sure to slap that like button. It gives us encouragement here to be able to push on to maybe even a third season of Oil Tycoon. But let me run this thing up and get this dropped off in the pipeline, see how much money we can make. All right, let's see what we can get here. 604,000 liters, that, that is quite a bit. So I'm sure it's gonna definitely be paying the bills, which we already had $8 million. So let me see what it is total. All right, four, just, just shy of $4.5 million in petroleum. You know, I don't know about gold and silver, but I know this black gold is, is priceless almost. Okay, I'm going to shut this truck off here. We're going to grab the flatbed truck, and we're going to run over and start grabbing our diesel. Normally, I go with the big flatbed semi to do this work, but for some reason, that trailer is not wanting to load these diesel tanks. So I will use this one. Unfortunately, this one can't pull quite as many, but it'll still still load up. The reason I want to get all the diesel loaded up first is because once we start pulling out of all of our storage warehouses, it'll start, I don't know, for some reason, it'll only let me load so many at a time on the map. So by doing this, every one of these pallets takes a slot and it'll only let me do so many. So it looks like this is full, so I will go over and I'll sell that. So I, anyhow, I just I de decided to just start unloading as many, or selling I should say, as many of these pallets off before I start getting into the warehouses. Because when I get into the warehouses, I would like to try to fill the trailer as full as I can. But if it maxes out after just so many pallets, it takes a little longer. Then I'm going to stop up here and we'll just put everything in the pipeline here. And this kind of 
dumps out slow, but I do like how it pulls out of every one at the same time. There, 74,000 out of the first round. I'm not sure how many more there is. I don't think I have too much diesel. So I've actually been using the diesel for the different productions that require it. So yeah, it looks like just the three more left anyhow. We'll be able to get these first two on it. Then move on down to get that last one. Then we'll go sell that. We'll park this truck. And we will head over. Maybe if I can get that last one. Oh, you know what? I bet I used a little bit of it to fill the truck first. You know how it always likes to... Whoops. Oh, drop it. It likes to fill the... Oh, boy. It keeps wanting to auto-load. Get on real quick. There we go. There. Oh, boy. You know what? I don't even care for that one. It always fills the pickup up first. Every time I go there, for some reason it wants to fill the pickup, and then now that one's not a clear full pallet, so it won't let me load it. That's okay, I'll sell these 4,000 liters off. It won't bring too much, but maybe, what, $10,000? can't remember the last one. I think I had eight pallets. Yeah, 14,000. So yeah, because I guess that was a fourth of what I had last time. Actually, you know why we have this pickup and trailer hooked up? Might as well get all of our, our lumber loaded out. We do have those wall planks and I think some more beams that are ready to load. Try to get the, the prefab wall first because it's going to take the most space on the trailer. Let's get that load up good. Perfect. I bet there's not going to be enough room to get those on the back. Wish it would, but I bet it won't. No, it will. Let's see. Should be room for one more. Be nice, get all the lumber in on one. That'll work. We'll take this to the neighboring town, sell it off, and we'll come back and start unloading the three warehouses of oil that we have. So we'll see you in just a moment. Well, we ended up getting over $70,000 for that, those products. Which actually pretty good for just being some trees that we cleaned out of the back timber. So I'll go back, park this, grab the big truck, and hopefully we'll have enough of these extra pallets loaded off the map or sold off the map that we can start pulling out as many as possible from the warehouses. Alright, I think I'm going to start with this warehouse here. See how many we can unload. Uh, 70 pallets. We'll actually take that many? Wow, it might actually work. Woo! I like this warehouse until it starts falling over. I like this warehouse. Maybe if I had it already turned on it would have helped a little bit. There, I was finally able to get the trailer to start loading. I had to actually get rid of the trailer I had and get another one identical to it for it to actually start loading these pallets on. It was quite a struggle. But we are all loaded up now. I'm going to see if I can spawn in some more. I'm going to get the most amount possible. We have a lot, especially between this and the other two buildings. I think this one also still has the oil in it as well. Yeah, the motor oil. It's 234,000 of that. Let me finish getting all this. Whoops. Finish getting all this. Oh, there we go. 23 more pallets. There. See, if I would have had that right the first time, it would have gone right on. I'm guessing that might be full, which is quite a few. So, let's see, yeah, because it doesn't want to take... Oh, there it will. We'll take it all. It took everything. So, that should be all of our pallets. Let's get that over to the pipeline. Let's strap it in just in case. I don't want to lose anything. You never know if it's going to fall over, but I'll get this over to the, let's see, I think probably the pipeline is going to be the best price. Just dump this LP in the pipeline. Here, let me get over there and get rid of this, what, 53,000 liters? Whew, that is a lot of LP gas. All right, I brought our help window back on just to make sure I can get this done right. There, it should be able to take it. There. Well, of course, we're going to lose a lot of it, but we're going to sell quite a bit. We'll have to just keep loading it on and then selling it again. So let's see how much we get out of all of it. I never realized you could actually just drive right on and it will take it. I thought they would fall over if they did. But it looks like we're going to have three, four, five, six, over 600,000. Well, maybe over 700,000. Sorry, I lost count out of all that. But was, I think maybe just shy, because I think we were just over $13,000.
course that was before I bought a few trailers back and forth, try to get the right trailer to work. But here I'll go back and now we'll take all of the motor oil out of that warehouse before we head over to the other two and get all of the LP gas out of those. Alright, 469 pallets. See if I've got this auto load on correctly. Maybe it'll keep taking it. I know it'll go three high on this trailer. So far it's working very well. Perfect, that should be full. Of course now they're going to keep coming in and spill all over. But There. Ooh, going to have a lot of motor oil. That might have been the last one. Alright. Let's get in the truck here and get these sold off. Got her all strapped in. I'm going to have to go really careful around the corners. So I know this is definitely going to be top end heavy. I don't think there's any low bridges or anything that I have to worry about. I know when we go through the refinery in there, there is a pipeline that goes overhead. And when it was three high in there, I would hit. So I wouldn't, back then, I wasn't able to go three high. But now that I'm out here outside of the little production area back there, we can do it. But let me get over and get this sold. See, now it's not going to let me do it right. They're just going to... It tries to sell a little, and now that then they start falling off. So I'm going to strap them back on, and we're going to sell it the, the way we were doing it, right beside it. Well, it's not the prettiest, but it is, it is taking it. Slowly but surely. Of course, I'm not sure how many I'm going to have to pick up by hand. But let's reload it again. See how many it'll pick up. I'm sure that some of those that fell over far away, those aren't going to load back up. Then we'll just drop it again. And keep doing this until they're all disappeared. There, that's the rest of them. I have no idea how many dollars we made. Not a clue. It kept dumping them over. and So I just gave up trying to add it up. But we'll go back, and it's, I think the rest of everything we have is LP gas. Those sell a lot easier. I don't know how those regular bale and pallet storage buildings are going to spawn out, if they're going to let me take very much at a time, or... Whoa! I forgot, we still have all this... All this left. I wasn't done with these horrible barrels. Well, let me get these loaded up, and then I'll go sell those, but I'll skip all that so you don't have to watch that extremely big mess. And then I will see you when we start loading out LP again. All right, finally got all those barrels sold off. Let's see if we can start loading this gas out. Should load fine, although it looks like it's loading underneath the trailer. Hopefully that's not a problem. Might just because I'm parked there, but we'll just keep going until it's full. Oh, no, there it goes. Thought maybe we hit the full mark. Just wish there wasn't some underneath the trailer. I know this will go three high. Oop, too many pallets. Too many pallets. Let me sell some first. Alright, well, we'll go sell this load first. We can definitely tell this truck is very top-end heavy. Even going straight, it wants to tip over. So what I might do, I might actually try to put a sell-all station. I get the camera view to keep working. But put a sell-all station right next to where they spun out of the warehouse. And see if we can get it sold off that away sell a lot easier and a lot quicker. So that is, that's what I'm going to do as soon as I get this one sold. Let me sell this one, then we will go back to the end there and see if we can put a sell-all station right next to it. Alright, here we go. See if it works. It let me place it. Now let's see if I can spawn stuff onto it. Yes. Oh, yeah! I mean, it's not working perfect, but it's kind of doing something right. Something crazily dangerous. See if I can just pull these back on. Oh yeah, this is going to be so much easier. Like I said, I don't have a clue how much we're making off this. But we are definitely making money. That is the whole goal of the Oil Tycoon series. To get rich. So here, let me spawn the rest of these in. And then we will go put another cell station back here to unload that one. Alright, we got that one to work. Now what we did different, we switched this thing to 14. 14 or 12, they would seem to work just fine. So we come back in here and we get another 14 ready. Once they start disappearing, we drop in the next ones and just keep going until they're all gone. 
Well, this is our last group of them. And then we're having them all sold out of this building. So this will kind of give us an idea uh, between this building and the other building how much money we made. The other one was just full like this one. So if this one brings in 2.3 million, I think the other one probably also did 2.3 million. Wonderful. That's some good profit. I like putting these cell stations in. That made it a lot easier. So let's get back and I think we are ready to load up our stone statues. And then after that, we're going to go negotiate with the city government. So see you in just a moment. That looks like 35,000 liters of these statues. I don't think we've sold any of them yet, so we don't. I don't even have a clue how much they're going to bring. So of course, another thing we're just going to throw in our pipeline. And it's going to sell the right way. Good. I was hoping it would. So let's see how much we can bring in out of that. Oh, good little lag out of it, too. Having trouble getting the truck to go forward. Apparently the statues actually have enough graphics that it's taken some out of it. All right, just six more. There we go. 234,000. Pretty good. Let me go drop this trailer off. We'll go grab our shorter flatbed. And we will start loading out all the gold and silver in Fort Knox. All right, we have 48 pallets of gold, 84 of silver, and then the three pallets of rubies. So the deal we made with the city government is we're going to actually give them all of our gold and silver. And they're going to leave. The town will be ours. We will take control of the city. The people that moved out can move back in and live in their old homes again. Of course, it's going to take some rebuilding. I mean, the city's in rough shape. But it can be done if we can load this <laughs> incorrectly. Um, the, the rubies I'm keeping, those are actually belong to my wife now. Oops, of course, I just told it to load. I don't want that. Take it back. Take it back. So there are three. Ah, one must have got on the truck. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Well, maybe she'll lose one pallet of rubies. See if I get some more silver on. It might be getting pretty close to full. I might have to load the rest by hand. Let me finish loading this up, and then we're going to take this in and give it to the city government so we can have the city. There we go. 25,000 liters of gold and 47,000 liters of silver. Let's go up here, enter our gate code, and move on in. There we go. Gate one going up. Now we'll get the other one. And the city will be ours. Go give the city government their gold and silver. Then we can move everybody in. We got people coming in already. There's some of our people from outside the wall. Already walking up join the new city. It's going to take some work to get this all cleaned up. Everybody's been out of these houses for, for about, about a year now. We still have destruction everywhere, like the building straight ahead of us. That building's been destroyed, and somehow I just picked up two dumpsters. <laughs> Whoops! But I'm going to let the new owner of this gold and silver take that. So here, let's go into the police station and make the transaction with them. And give him everything he needs. Alright. He's off. He's gone. Him and all of his government people. They're going to just take that gold and silver. And they're moving as far away from here as humanly possible I hope. You know what? Now that that is done. I think we can get rid of this wall. So let's get back here and grab a chainsaw. Because that's how you get rid of walls I take it. And we're going to remove the wall once and for all. Well, they tell me Bob is cutting down that post right now. What is that? Well, Toto, I don't think we're in Frontier anymore. And all the people saw the thunderings, and the lightnings, and the noise of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. Thank you channel sponsors, L Family Gaming Dad, Rambo Hacker Gaming, and Simulation Gaming Universe, 
for you make this channel possible. How am I going to ever get that thing to launch to get me home? I'm the oil tycoon, baby. <laughs>